celebrated what it calls Victory Day with an extravagant military display. Russian and Chinese officials attended the event, which exhibited the country's back. North Korea reacts as U.S. missiles head to Japan, South Korea. Hello and welcome. This is Newsfest Addis, your daily source of news bites locally, regionally and internationally. In a dramatic escalation of regional tensions, North Korea has vehemently criticized the United States' approval of potential missile sales to Japan and South Korea. The move, deemed by Pyongyang as a perilous act, has sparked concerns of a renewed arms race and heightened instability in an already volatile region. The catalyst. The seeds of this controversy were sown when Japan unveiled plans to acquire 400 Tomahawk missiles from the United States, marking a significant military buildup not witnessed since World War II. The Pentagon's announcement of the deal, valued at a staggering $235 billion, only intensified North Korea's condemnation. Simultaneously, the United States greenlit the potential sale of Sidewinder missiles and standard missile six block is to South Korea, further stoking the fires of dissent. North Korea, through its state media outlet KCNA, issued a stark warning, claiming that such indiscriminate arms sales would escalate the security crisis and exact a hefty toll on the United States. North Korea's response. In a strongly worded statement, North Korea's defense ministry declared its intention to step up measures to establish deterrence, framing its actions as a response to the perceived instability caused by the United States and its allies. The warning echoed through the corridors of international diplomacy, underlining North Korea's resolve to counter what it sees as provocative moves in its neighborhood. The timing of North Korea's denouncement coincides with its preparations to launch a spy satellite. South Korea, not to be outdone, issued a stern warning against the impending launch, labeling it a provocation and a violation of UN Security Council resolutions. As South Korean Defense Minister Shin Won Sik hinted at the satellite launch occurring within the week, the international community held its breath, bracing for potential repercussions. The Missile Arsenal and Satellite Saga As North Korea flexes its military muscles with successful tests of new-type high-thrust solid-fuel engines for intermediate-range ballistic missiles, speculation mounts over the prospect of another missile test. This development amplifies the stakes, transforming the East Asian theater into a precarious stage where strategic interests collide. The missile fervor is exacerbated by the history of antagonism between North Korea and Japan. Diplomatic relations between the two nations have never been formally established, marked by tension and hostility. A 2014 BBC World Service poll revealed a staggering 91% of Japanese people viewing North Korea's influence negatively, a sentiment arguably shared by many nations. Historical undercurrents. To understand the gravity of the situation, one must delve into the historical undercurrents, shaping the complex relationship between Japan and North Korea. In the early years following North Korea's proclamation, relations were strained and practically non-existent. The North Korean leadership vehemently opposed economic and political negotiations between Japan and South Korea, further fueling animosity. However, a shifting geopolitical landscape saw North Korea seeking economic and cultural cooperation with Japan in the mid-1950s. This surprising turn was partly driven by North Korea's efforts to prevent a Japanese-South Korean rapprochement and reduce economic dependence on the Soviet Union. The subsequent years witnessed a gradual expansion of economic ties, though the deep-seated distrust remained. The international game. As tensions escalate in East Asia, the international community watches with bated breath. The delicate dance of arms, diplomacy, and distrust is not confined to the Korean peninsula but reverberates across the global chessboard. The specter of a renewed arms race and the ominous shadow of potential conflict force nations to reassess their strategic positions. In the face of North Korea's vow to exhibit more offensive and overwhelming counteraction capabilities, the world must grapple with the real and present danger that looms over this troubled region. The precarious balance struck between major powers and historical grievances underscores the urgency for diplomatic finesse and conflict resolution. As South Korea's National Security Council bolsters military readiness, the international community faces a critical juncture. Will diplomatic channels prevail, or will the region plunge into the abyss of heightened tensions and military brinkmanship? Only time will unveil the fate of East Asia. A region caught in the crossfire of historical animosities and contemporary geopolitical maneuvers. Thank you for watching this edition. We will be back with more in another edition of NewsFest Addis.